agree with Charlie Carroll's statement. Do not even think about GTO pretty much up to the high stakes. Um, AKA fuck GTO as Charlie Carroll puts it. Yes. Um, so he makes he like, he puts it out there in like a really like a click baiting way. Um, but in general, what he means with that, I totally agree. Like everyone says, like if there's like people that want to make up that story of like GTO is the one thing and exploitative player is the other thing. Like I explain that in every stream and every podcast and everything because I always get it get it asked. And for me, this is two things together. So how can you exploit people? Right? What what's what's like the foundation that like what do you need to know that you can exploit people? Well, you need to do, you need to know what they are doing wrong, right? You can say, oh, he's overfolding, but that implies already that you know what would be the right amount of folding. So it's always, for me, it's one is GTO, the baseline, how the game should be played. Second is collecting reads, um, knowing what villain is doing wrong, and for knowing that you just need to fucking know what would be right. Like you can't say someone's overfolding without knowing what would be right. Like it's just like doesn't make sense, you know? And then third is doing the exploit. So it's like step by step by step. What Charlie means is on non-high stakes, never ever play GTO, like the, the one, what it tells you, because you always have reads, you always have assumptions. Well, the first assumption is country read, for example, right? People from Brazil don't like folding. That's just true on NL5. Or this guy is playing NL5. Don't try to bluff him off a top here. This is a population re read because this exact guy is just playing NL5. So um, that's just so, uh, so right. So you should think about GTO because it's just important to know what is right to exploit in the right way. But the move you do at the table in the end should always be the exploitative. Not like, oh, Solver is telling me I should check back 30% and see bet 70. That's bullshit. You, you should... On low stakes, you should always find a reason to do either the one or the other. That what's that's what he means, like explained in a bigger frame, I would say. And I agree one hundred percent. Perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect clip for Twitter right there. Thank you, thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. I think you explained it in a good way that I think more people will be able to uh, instead of fuck GTO. You like this is kind of what he means. So I think you put it very well and. I don't know. I've never been, uh, you know, I, I, GTO is one of my favorite words, but I mean, a lot, a lot of beat poker is, is exploitive strategy. So yeah. GTO in life is more important. <laughs> GTO in life. Yeah. Like doing things GTO. Like, oh my God, I'm not doing anything GTO in life. I don't think right now.